breaking news Nigerians. Currently is happening in Kano. Protest begins as Nigerians march against hardship under Tinubu's government. Photographs of the protests obtained by Sahara reporters on Tuesday confirm that the Joint Action Front, JAF, coordinated the demonstration. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. Nigerians have begun a warm-up protest in Kano State over the hike of petrol price from 195 Naira to 617 Naira devaluation, school fees, increments, and other anti-poor policies of the President Bola Tinubu-led Nigerian government. Photographs of the protests obtained by Sahara reporters on Tuesday confirmed that the Joint Action Front, JAF, coordinated the demonstration. Sahara reporters had reported on Monday that JAF, alongside the Alliance for Surviving COVID-19 and Beyond, and Coalition for Revolution, C-O-R-E, declared their total support for the August 2nd Nigerian Labour Congress nationwide action. The civil organizations, in a joint declaration signed by Femi Falana, ASCAB Baba Yalabola, then Coral and the uh, JAF after a meeting on Sunday, which was made available to Sahara reporters on Monday, had said they would join in the protest until victory was achieved. Titled August 2nd, 2023, 2023, please pardon me, as the beginning of nationwide resistance against fair price hike and anti-poor policies. The civil organizations had said that the minimal aim of the forthcoming struggle is the reversal of the criminal hike of petrol from 617 Naira to 195, reversal of other criminal policies like fees hike in public tertiary institutions the valuation of the Naira, which they noted had made life unbearable on Nigerian masses. We support the decision of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, to call Nigerian workers and poor masses out on protests starting from Wednesday, August 2nd, 2023, against the wicked policies of President Tinubu government including the severe hike in the price of petrol and the valuation of the Naira. The organization taxed the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, with unity in their engagement with the federal government and encouraged them to jointly mobilize for mass action. Nigerians, it has started already. This is not a joke. It has started. This is just the beginning on his mandate, which has stand. He's doing a great job already. This is testing the mic. These are reactions from Nigerians. The better for us Nigerians, we have to do this. As you can see, Nigerians are already like, they are ready, you know, for this. Now that it's not Northern government, they can protest. I love the way not as love themselves. The hardship is unbearable. The government needed to put in place measures before making any decisions out of pride. Though I'm in support of subsidy removal, that is the point. Nobody is saying that the first subsidy removal is not a good thing because according to them, now they talk, say get some persons when they defraud Nigerians. The Kaba when they defraud Nigeria, okay, from that uh, first subsidy uh, matter. Then before you do that, you would have put in some things in place. You cannot just come out 
first something is gone and you think it's just like that. These things now process it be if they know waiting then they do. See now Nigeria don't turn upside down and they say na renew hope be this. So you see the matter get as it be. Nigerians are really going through a lot. Like I only say here, yeah, the the politicians that will just say yes, the first subsidy should be removed. They don't understand what the honorary uh, honorary man out there is going through. Nigerians are going through a lot. You can't even buy anything in the market. You can't buy anything in the market. So it, it has not been easy since this first subsidy remover. And now what is even telling us that the money that will be retrieved from the first subsidy remover is it not going to be the same story as usual? They're not going to do kill and divide. Two months now, the president don't tell us, say, they don't, you know, get one trillion from that matter. Now, the question is, what are their plans? Because even with the speech he made, the nation, uh, national broadcast he, he did, he did not even tell us what exactly they are going to do with the money. What is the Nigerian government plan with that money? You understand? If they have gotten this kind of money, they're supposed to hit the refineries and start doing work, start doing job, so that life will be, you know, be uh, easy for common man out there. Anybody will say, no, don't protest. They know what they are doing. You understand? You know, easy. People can barely eat three square meals in a day. Before, eh? At least then they see they manage the hardship. in high during the, the former president's uh, time. The hardship not be here. But today, the thing don't double. The thing don't double. So this is not it's not, I don't know. I don't I don't understand what exactly APC government is doing. Because when you talk, they say you are supporting social so party. You are from this side and all that. And this will not, it will not help anybody. If we continue like this, it's not going to help anybody. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel.